Hey, Tia Silvesi here. I'm an extension agent with the University of Florida IFIS Extension in Orange County. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about pest control in your vegetable garden. So I have a variety of examples here to show you and I've been doing everything right. I've been checking my plants daily, hand squishing the bugs, the bad bugs. I have insectary plants, flowering plants planted around my garden but the pest population right now of caterpillars in my garden has just gotten out of control and it's time for me to take action with a organic pesticide spray. So let me just show you some of the damages. Here is a tomato leaf that you can see has bad holes in it. And if you can see real close, there's actually baby caterpillars on it. They're only about a quarter inch long. Here's the tomato fruits which you can see the tomato fruits have holes in them. That's from where the caterpillars are eating. And um, you can see the caterpillar poop or the caterpillar frass right here. And so all three of these tomatoes are infested with caterpillars. I'm gonna smush them, kill them, and throw them away in my compost. Here's another tomato leaf. So as soon as you see all these baby holes, that's how you know you have baby caterpillars and there's just a ton of them. I can see them with my naked eye. And also here on the leaves, you can see the caterpillar poop or the caterpillar frass. So I'm having the same problem in my squash plants too. And you can tell this, what I look for is a little hole in the flower buds. So the hole is where the caterpillar went inside of the flower bud. And you can also look for in the baby leaves um, it's all rolled up. So when I go ahead and dissect this flower, it's all squishy and like caterpillar poop. Yuck. You can also see in the baby f um, leaves that there's a little bit of webbing here. And so the caterpillar likes to hide itself and roll up the leaf in the webbing. So anywhere you see the leaf rolled over, check that spot, open it up and look for caterpillars and take them out of there. Another sign to look for is a broken stem like this because the caterpillars will bore into the squash stems. So I've decided it's time to do a spray in my garden and I'm gonna use the least toxic method first, which is an organic spray, which is um, a BT spray. So BT is Bacillus thuringiensis and it's an organic spray and it works. It's a bacterium that you spray on the plant and when the caterpillar eats it, it gets an upset tummy and it dies. So I have a couple other pest control I'll show you that I use, neem oil, um, so the BT is only for caterpillars, whereas the neem oil is more broad spectrum and it will kill aphids, mites, and it has a little bit of fungicidal property too. And that's made from a neem tree. And another similar product, Organicide, which is also an oil and it works in the same way. And this is made out of sesame oil actually. So it's very similar to the neem oil and this kills mites, aphids, uh, white flies, and also helps to prevent powdery mildew. And so what I've done here is I looked at the label, which is on the back of the, the BT, and I looked for the label rate because I'm gonna spray squashes and tomatoes today. And it says one to three teaspoon per gallon. And so I'm not gonna mix up a whole gallon because I have a relatively small vegetable garden, but I mixed it up. Um, I did some math and just mixed up about 16 ounces into this spray bottle here. And so I labeled this spray bottle and you wanna shake it occasionally um, when you're spraying or before you're spraying, when you mix it up. And you wanna apply it in the early morning or in the evening, not in the hot sun of the middle of the day and you wanna use all the mix that you make within 24 hours. You don't wanna keep it around, so make a fresh batch every time. And then to spray it on the plants, you wanna cover the top of the leaves and the bottom sides of the leaves. And just spray it all over, cause these caterpillars are all over my plants. So I'm gonna spray it anywhere that I'm seeing the holes in the surrounding areas because remember the caterpillars have to actually 
ingest this Bt in order for it to kill them. So after you're done spraying, let it sit. Um, if there is a rain that immediately washes it off, you'll wanna spray again tomorrow. And then repeat application of this every five to seven days, uh, once a week until the infestation is gone. So I hope you learned a little bit about organic pest control today to take care of your garden and keep posted for some more videos.